A monostable mode 555 timer has one stable state, and that is where the output is low. We can force the output to go high, but it's going to go back to low and stay low until we force it to go high again. We are given a low input to pin to the trigger pin to set it out the output high for a short period of time. The amount of time that it stays high depends on the value of the capacitor and the timing resistor. To get the timing somewhat close to uh, one second, as you can see there, I use a 10,000 ohm resistor and a 100 microfarad capacitor right here. If we want to make it about five times as long, I also have these 470 uh, microfarad capacitors. They store uh, almost five times as much charge to get to the same voltage. We uh, just will swap it out like that. Now you can see when I press the button, it's going to take somewhere around about five times longer for the output to go back to low. So here you can see the input voltage. We have a pull-up resistor holding about five volts there until we press the switch. We give a low pulse. There you can see the capacitor charging. That's the other uh, voltage we're looking at. When it gets to two-thirds of the supply voltage, then the output goes back low and the capacitor instantly discharges. If you hold the uh, button for uh, too long, the capacitor just keeps charging and the output stays high right there. But as soon as we let go, now it will uh, set the output low and the capacitor will discharge. And again, we'll use more capacitance to slow things down, or we could use a uh, larger timing resistor, more resistance. But in any case, there you can see we gave a quick pulse, and it set the time to charge the capacitor to two-thirds of the supply voltage, and then the output went back low, and the capacitor instantly discharged. Everything else was probably uh, pretty easy to see except for this little jumper there. So uh, pin 6 and pin 7 there you can see are tied together. I just have one of these little uh, metal jumpers that I put into there. So I want to make sure I pointed that out in case you missed it. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.